it's already 1528 and there is no colonialism. It hasn't appeared yet. And I doubt it ever will. Americas are empty, Africa is also empty. In this video, I will prevent European colonialism as England. To achieve my goal, I have to conquer France, Burgundy, Castile and Portugal. Sounds easy, right? Don't worry, everything is already thought out, everything is already planned. So first thing first is of course Burgundy doesn't travel me. Of course that's only because of my luck, totally without saves coming. But anyway, the most important thing, Burgundy doesn't rival us. Well, even if it does, it's possible to make it friendly, just not easy. That's of course very interesting, but first let's grant some privileges. So let's grant religious diplomats, cleric education, burger loans. Now I'm going to check my parliament. So do we have uh, the crown and one? I don't see it. So England already starts with this privilege. It's not really good, but to revoke it we need to have 40 crownland. There is one parliament issue uh, which might help us. It gives us 5 crownland and we can also seize land and get 40. But currently I don't have it and I won't restart any more times. Getting Burgundy was difficult as is. Let's move our troops here. Let's see who else can I ally. It seems Castile. Well, I could also lie Aragon, but that's quite risky. I need to make sure Burgundy won't break our lines. Okay, let's lie Castile, I guess. Break alliance with Portugal, I think. I won't really marry. Let's just start carrying favors. Let's also choose some rivals. Denmark, France, Scotland. Okay, first I need to royal marry Burgundy. Let's carry favors. Let's check our parliament. Uh, no, it didn't update, it seems. Well, okay, let's just take plus one diplomat. Administrative support and grant titles. Okay, then let's just grant one privileges. And let's start carrying favors with Burgundy. And with Castile. Not sure if I will be in time, but always worth a try. Let's also improve with Burgundy. It's important to keep it to my ally. And now I'm just waiting for men. That's it. Maybe let's hire improve relations advisor. Some other advisors, why not? Okay, here it is. Surrender of men. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my mercenaries and try to find the best one. So I see there is a 4-4 uh, plus 10 morale. I think I'll hire them. Maybe let's also have a company, maybe. Now let's uh, finish the mission raise an army. Okay, maybe that was not the best idea. France got in Scotland, but well. Okay, uh, let's declare war on France. Or more like France declares on us. And I need to call in some allies. I can do it with Burgundy, uh, Castile. I can't. But Burgundy should be enough. Now I will just try to defend. Right now I'm just trying to win battles, nothing difficult. Also I'll do this, I will choose union with friends and start improving relations. I need to be coalition free. For now I'm just trying to siege down Paris. I'm not sure if I will be successful, but I need to do it. Okay, here we go, Paris is sieged, uh, let's continue killing French stacks. Stack wipe, very good, maybe even lucky. Shouldn't forget to shift consolidate, very important. And also I attached my mercenaries with general uh, to my army, so we arrive the same time, let's try to stack wipe friends. Okay, good. Stack wipe, stack wipe. Yeah, once you know how to fight, it's a really easy war. Well, not really easy, but could be worse. It's not grand. Anyway, we can also finish the 100 years war, but I think I'll do it later. Right now, let's just focus on friends. Another stack wipe. Well, to be honest, it really depends on luck. Sometimes friends is quite smart and it dooms stacks just like player. In such case, yeah, it's impossible to do this. I'm stack wiping only because I know what I'm doing and AI doesn't. Yeah, already not bad. Already not bad. I already sense victory. I need some siege. I must have siege. And I don't it. Not good. I need to start sieging down because friends will recover eventually. I will also carry favors with the Burgundy to buy some trust and continue improving. Okay, one more fort is sieged. Now I need to be really, really careful. Well, I think I should be able to peace out soon. I think maybe let's also break a link with Castile. A war on the roses. First, let's take the stack. And now I will return to England. Let's see your rulers. I need to move my army somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Lancashire. Immediately. Okay, now let's choose uh, the House of York. Ah, I see they change province. Okay, anyway. Let's stack wipe them. Each town this province. Okay, I think that should be it. Let's check the conditions. Oh no, I need to kill Pretender. Okay, for now let's continue the war with friends. I already a white piece Genoa. Can we do the same with Papal State? Not really. Stack wipe the stack. Oh, by the way, I was very lucky with pretenders. They appeared exactly where I needed them to. And here it is, the end of the War of the Roses. Okay, I will ignore Sweden. Now I can finish uh, the mission War of the Roses and get minus 10 aggressive expansion until the end of the age. Yep, that really helps with coalition. Anyway, I think I need more mercenaries. Because right now, right now, yeah, right now it's bad. Although, okay, let's just try to recover for a month or two. Oh, by the way, we can choose Henry Tudor. 
not good. Historical way to play. Also, also very good thing I remembered. I need to guarantee Granda. I must guarantee Granda. So Castile doesn't get even more of Ghostline. Burgundy decided to piss out, I'm not surprised. Well, that's one juicy stack wipe. Okay, let's continue. Not much left. We can wipe peace Papal State, just perfect. And we can get a union in France, finally. Okay, Utrecht is not happy, let's see. Let's improve a little. Although, okay, come on, like, it'll be fine, let's just peace out. I don't have resources to continue this. Okay, perfect, now we have PU over France, finally. Okay, so right now what I need to do is I need to buy some trust with Burgundy, otherwise it will hate me, or it might hate me anyway, and I need to improve relations. And let's see coalitions. Okay, let's improve with Platinate. And yeah, some people say that it's very difficult to win the 100 years war. And I agree it kinda is, but if you know what to do, it's manageable. As you've seen, I mostly had like speed 5 or speed 4. Nothing impossible, I just hired good general from mercenaries and tried to kill smaller stacks. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depends on the regime and on friends. Okay, anyway, now we need to somehow pacify friends, uh, which is a very good task, quite difficult. Preferably before death of our ruler. Anyway, let's finish the 100 years of war, become Andrewin Kingdom, get Andrewin missions, seize France's throne, get a lot of new claims, let's designate Calais a staple port, and wait until our armament issue runs out, and this land. Okay, now let's chill for a little, and I think I will fabricate on Spain. Better to kill Castile earlier than later. It seems I can try to lie Morocco. Yeah, might be a good lie. I desperately need more diplomats. And I could subjugate Scotland, but not sure if it's priority right now. Okay, let's only Morocco or carry favors. Okay, let's fabricate on Castile and now I need to think. Either first to clear on Castile or on Scotland. So I can say that Portugal most likely will start colonizing in 1470s. So on one hand I need to rush to take away its coastline. On the other hand we can wait a little. Okay, right now I'll wait for our truce with Castile to end. It was a bad idea to allow Castile, but well, okay. Already can't do anything. And I will immediately declare. I think let's also delete some forts. Not all of them are necessary, especially French forts, like no one is going to attack me here. Truce with Castile has expired, but I'll wait uh, for Morocco to get some favors. Also, it seems I can support loyalists already, and it's already more or less loyal. Okay, now let's declare on Castile. Raise army maintenance, and declare, I think, maybe make Portugal belligerent. And once again, I will start improving relations with Switzerland, with Aragon. It seems France is already... A little bit loyal, so let's support loyalists and... Okay, I'll wait a little bit more. Right now let's grant also Burgers naval school rights, grant admiralship, and let's see, oh, not bad. Not the worst admiral, actually quite even good. Is it really for the tradition one? Interesting. Okay, I swear this time was without this coming. Anyway, let's allow attach and I'll wait a little before attacking. And let's also grant generalship maybe, of the rights, of general, let's see. I hope siege, I hope siege. No, no siege. Maybe let's make ruler, no siege either. Now I will go and quickly siege down Portugal. Now let's force French-English Reconciliation Act. Let's bribe. Okay, perfect. Now France likes us. Let's see. Seventy liberty desire. Let's develop a little. Just a little. Four times. And one last time. Oh, okay, let's wait for a little. And it should become loyal on its own. For now, let's just naval barrage. Yeah, here it is. France is loyal. I need to get maps for Morocco ASAP. Let's see. North Atlantic. Can I get it, please? Northern Africa, maybe? Okay, it seems they don't know about these islands. Uh, well, anyway, let's just piss out Portugal quickly. It's a shame Morocco decided to bail out, I would actually give it some land. Anyway, let's piss out Portugal. I need to take some provinces here. Let's take some coastline. Uh, return core to Morocco. Here it is. And uh, let's see how much do these provinces cost. Okay, I should be able to take them next war. So maybe let's take just one province here. Just one province. And uh, let's also take some money into our patience. If I'm correct, I should be able to take whole Portuguese coastline in the next war. I hope so at least. I really hope so. Let's also develop France one more time, it became loyal. Not surprised, but still. Let's also impress the sons. Okay, let's peace out Castile. I need to have truce uh, for the same time as Portugal. Can I think maybe take more patience also? Let's see. Yeah, and a little bit of money, or maybe I'll just take money. It will be more useful. Okay, although why did I do it? Why do I acquire everything? I need to do this, I need to cancel coring, here, 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 release, here it is, Leon, Asturias, Galicia, text on Duchess, just wonderful, don't worry, everything is going according to plan, I will integrate them, uh, once we have 15 provinces, I think, although I need to also finish this mission, yeah. Okay, so now I have to somehow conquer Provence and Brittany, it's not difficult, it's actually quite easy, the problem is aggressive expansion, 
I also need to subtract Scotland and stuff, yeah, it's not here. Although, we can conquer Provence and give whole Provence to Burgundy, in theory. Okay, I think let's conquer Scotland with subtraction. Whole coalition won't ruin my peace deal, let's see. English vessel, oh yeah, it's fun. Fun, but not impossible to prevent. It may be actually quite easy. Well, the coalition might seem like it's big, and yes, it is big, but can still prevent it. Like, most of nations lose like 30 basic expansion, which is not actually a lot. You can even claim Parkanty, why not? All the better to use favors for trust. It's not 100% guaranteed that it won't break alliance, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, let's piece out Leinster, I can't. Interesting, okay, let's continue. Uh, might be even, by the way, declare on whole Ireland. Not sure, because there will be no Irish miners, there will be like 10 less nations in coalition. Let's stack wipe, peace out Leinster, perfect. I will also break Breton alliances, like this. Uh, let's see for how long it will last. It'll be 10 years maximum. Oh yeah, exactly 10 years. I will be able to conquer Brittany, not bad. Also, I think I won't core Irish provinces for now. Maybe I will release Ireland as RPU. Might be a better idea. Of course, Castile got a Burgundian inheritance, uh, but it shouldn't really stop us. Okay, let's conquer Irish miners. And collision is a little bit better, but still, it's not good. I need to improve more. Maybe I Austria, by the way. Oh, no, it's rival of Burgundy. I have to not do anything with Burgundian rivals. It will break lines with me, like, in a few seconds. Very bad idea. Also, Portugal has already cut exploration ideas, but I have time to stop it. I hope so, at least. As next country form, I'll take, I think, Strengthened House of Lord. Why not? Let's see our nobility. If only I had 10 more crownland. And coalition, coalition is getting better and better. Can't say that it's enough, but there's something positive. Well, coalition has become manageable, definitely. As you can see, it's mostly Ireland plus Iberians. None of them are interesting to me. Also, I already have like 10 loans, which is definitely not great. Okay, now what I'll do is I will return my diplomats and declare on all Irish nations at the same time. Okay, I think that's all. See? Yep. Uh, now I will just subjugate Scotland. I'll just get some money. No coalition should form, and now I need to quickly pacify Ireland. I will conquer all of this land, then I will take some loans, consolidate all my previous loans, and then release Ireland as my view. Sounds really good. Okay, I will buy Orkney later. Okay, let's piss out Ulster. Buy some money, I need money, I need a lot of money. Now I think maybe let's uh, siege coastal forts, so I can order naval barrage. As first city group, I will obviously, yes, like, obviously take diplomatic. And your goal, yeah. One, two, okay, now three, four, and I'll let's piss out uh, these two nations. I cut some cash, I cut some development. Now what I'll do is I will take more loads to pay the state ones. All done. Okay, let's try. One hard at least. Take the state ones once again. Okay, it didn't really help. Why is my navy so expensive? Let's try to cut down our costs. Okay, let's have our ships. Well, that's already a little bit more manageable. Maybe let's do it some forts. And this one here at least. Let's also finish the Irish mission. Conquer Ireland. Release Ireland. Ripe. Here we go. Let's release Ireland, and yeah, by the way, Ireland is not a bad nation, not bad PO. Anyway, let's also finish unify the Isles, let's see coalitions. Uh, Provence might join Platinate, okay, let's improve it, Memmingham, Constance. Yeah, I think I managed it quite well, actually. Could be a lot worse. Anyway, I'll help Ireland with rebels, and oh, let's try enacting austerity, so to say. Return ships to our port. This one, so let's try to protect trade in English Channel. Let's also mod both these ships. Okay, Portugal already has two ideas, which is not good. It means that now I will just wait for two years and declare on Brittany. And then I will conquer from Castile. Also, I wanted to get on stability from Pope, but now I think maybe improvisations would be better. I need to deal with the crazy expansion. And also, yes, I put diplomats on untreated countries. It's not the most optimal way to improve, but we have what we have. I want to lazy to do it manually. And now let's declare on Brittany. The worst thing here is a crazy expansion. The war itself should be quite easy. As usual, let's start improving. If it will work, of course. I'm already doubting myself. That's all I understand, I'm trading on a very, very thin ice. There is very big chance that coalition will appear after the war with Spain. Generally, it's not a good idea to conquer that much in like 30 years. But well, we are playing in England, I think it's already possible to do world conquest, you know. I've got one more diplomat and more improved relations, just what you need. Might actually walk out of this war without coalition, if I'm lucky, of course. Oh my god, soon I will remember the position of all the three nations. I already can find most without using this button. By the way, just I think one month, no, three months, and soon with Portugal ends. I will declare immediately. Okay, only Rottenberg is left. Yeah, that's the power of improving relations. From the coalition which takes half of the screen to no coalition at all. First, let's declare on Castile. Reconquest, take a one. 
Watch Kung Legend, and let's go. Uh, let's be so Brittany. Take money, a lot of money. No, I forgot. First, take money from Switzerland. Now from Brittany. And full annexation. Okay, perfect. I think we have a year to claim Burgundy if it's necessary. If it's not, I won't. And okay, now I need to clear Portugal Aso. I think they haven't even colonized anything. If it's true, then it's really good. Your such ability and it's obviously going to be a crazy expansion one. It's really necessary. Okay, let's piss out Portugal, should be fine for now at least. Let's maybe improve a little bit more. Also need Brackens. And also I forgot about London, of course, but anyway. Uh, let's piss out Portugal. I can't. Now I can. Uh, let's see. It should list all of their provinces, all of them. I don't see any other coastal province, so it should be fine. Yes, okay. A minus one colonizer. Well, okay, let's just already call in Burgundy. I need some help. I would be able to win without it, but, like, with Burgundy, it's guaranteed. Okay, let's piss out Castile, I'll take this provinces and some more patience. Let me explain. So first, officially Castile now is landlocked. What does it mean? It means no colonization for Castile. And what does it mean? It means the challenge is one, basically. Well, not really. There is still a chance that uh, some European might colonize, but let me explain. So first I took this island, that means neither Castile nor Portugal has any coastal province. Second, let me show you. Uh, basically only uh, nations in these four regions have chance to colonize anything. Britain, uh, Low Countries, France and Iberia. Iberia is basically neutered. Aragon third is PU, subjects can't take expression ideas. And second Aragon is uh, programmed to have half a chance to get colonial ideas. France is the same, there is only Provence, I think. Yeah, I think only Provence left. And it won't take colonization, it has only two ports. Britain is under me, and the only threat here are low countries. Uh, I will get Burgundian inheritance and inherit most of them, but there are still some nations left. And also, also very important, Castile might inherit Aragon. And if it does it, I've lost, basically. Uh, they will colonize because they will have some coastal provinces and that means that they won't be bound by me like here. Anyway, let's divert trade from Leon, Galicia, Asturias, and now I earn quite a decent income in Sevilla. Let's go check. Yeah, not bad. But my economy is still abysmal. Okay, my next goal I think is Provence. I think I will give some provinces to Burgundy, some provinces to me. And yes, by the way, if you remember, Granta is guaranteed by me, so Castile can conquer it. Also, I think I'll try to become the HV Emperor. Uh, let's see Ladislaus. Yeah, he's still alive. Also, I'm quite lucky that Burgundy hasn't broken our lines. I think it might if I give them these provinces, but I'm not sure. Well, once more advice, if they do break your lines, you can declare them, force them to break rivalry, and a force to revoke claim on your land. It might help. And also, you can just royal marry before, by the way, why aren't we royal married? And that will be enough to get Burgundian inheritance. And finally, I have good income. I can even afford some advisors. A second tier group, I think I'll take administrative, why not? Could also take humanist uh, foreign populations, but I think administrative would be better. Let's also buy an island from Norway. Interesting. Where is it? It seems Scotland bought it without me. Let's see. Well, I guess it was not because of Scotland, but because of rebels. I guess so. No permanent issue, I will curtail French nobility. Also, by the way, let's first develop our provinces a little. Some cheap, cheap province. London, why not? 30 crownland. Now I can revoke English Plain Edge. Okay, let's just pass the French nobility. I need more missions. Okay, let's pay on stability. And we can finish one more mission. Shatter French nobility. Okay, maybe that was not the best idea. Henry is quite old. But okay, what's done is done. Now I need to conquer Provence. But before conquering Provence, I want to get Burgundy. But Charles won't die. As next comes reform, I will obviously take representatives of the crown. No questions asked. I couldn't get elected, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. Now I'll take... Improves our taxes, why not? I need to pay out like two more loans. Let's also start next in Scotland. I think Anjuring Kingdom can't do it automatically, only manually. We can finish one more mission, the Royal Card, plus five crownland. Once again it was easy. I think it had a choice between me and Austria, because France is my view. And it hated Austria, so obviously it went to me. Perfect. Just perfect. Now let's conquer Provence. And finish one more mission, seize Burgundy. Well, I know I should have done this after I inherited Burgundy. But I need this mission to get Spanish crown one. Let's claim Provence. Too busy. And Jivin Kingdom is totally not overpowered. Let's buy some cannons. Austria declares on us. Not surprised. Obviously I won't give up Netherlands. If I do, they will 100% colonize. Okay, let's break Melanie's alliance with Provence. Take some money. And let's piece up Provence. I won't be able to take everything I need. But this should be enough. Ah, uh, well, okay. I won't be able to finish the crown of Iperia mission. So I think first I will try to make... Castile break PU on Ergon. 
And maybe it would be actually possible to steal Aragon. Interesting question, we'll see. Okay, let's do clear on Castile. I'll try to snatch Aragon, so to say. Yeah, we can cancel Aragon. Let's maybe cool in Morocco. Scotland is next. Quite cool. Let's state all prices. And I paid off all of my loans. Finally. I am out of that spiral. All is logical, I'm playing as Great Britain after all. It would be weird if I didn't pay off my loans. Well, I wanted to take the Aragon as vessel, steal it with each ability, but at maximum it should be like 200% and it's more. So I would just break Castile and Pion it like this. Now Aragon is free. There is actually a chance it would take exploration ideas, but it's very small. I will deal with it later. Also, by the way, I didn't tell you why I don't I give any princes to friends. It's extremely important for friends to have less than 40 provinces. Otherwise, it will be impossible to annex it with decision. As next such ability, I think let's take Trust of Subject, why not? Maybe I'll find someone. And now that I finally have some free cash, I will start building some buildings. And historical event, Henry VIII. Let's hit him. And oh my god, first dynasty. Yeah, he gets your current dynasty, not Tudor. Well, Tudor if you have one. I don't know, maybe let's ally Austria. It's actually quite good ally. And I would be able uh, to prevent it from the fighting Aragon. I should be at least. Of course, Austria was elected. I'll be plant, I want smart. In my piece deal with Provence, I should have taken like these four provinces. And the left only Avignon to Provence, maybe. Or maybe some of these provinces, because now it's in HRE. So, because of my mistake, I can't declare Provence, I guess. Austria will call in its allies, including Aragon. So, maybe what I'll do? Maybe what I'll do? First, I will build Spanetric on Florence. Second, I will mark Milan as vital to me. And pray that Burgundy fabricate some claims. I will try to declare not on Provence itself, but on Italy. And not make France co-belligerent. That's the best thing I could do. A London stock exchange. Here comes the money. Let's build something. Hell yeah, I inherit Burgundy. And now I'll have tons of money. Let's become an empire. Oh my god, I'll need a lot. And I mean a lot of current capacity. Well, I have to core English channel. It's like my main source of income. Let's see. Yes, I'm well over my current capacity. Okay, let's buy some current capacity. Now it's okay. Okay, here we go, let's fabricate the clear on Milan. Provence will join in, but as a non co -budget. Should be trivial to win. Uh, let's also get general. As usual, I think he will be either utter garbage or some gut tier general. Let's see. Grand generalship and... Yeah, garbage. Okay, let's fully annex Provence. Thankfully, no coalition. Maybe more money, let's see. Yeah, some money. Very good. Let's finish the mission, secure Duke's crown. The Andrewing Kingdom. Now we will be able to instantly integrate France. As soon as we have 10th admin tech and kingdoms of Spain. We will be able to make Spain our PU. And actually, let me tell you, I am coming not from the past, but from the future. I mean like from one year from now on. And let's say I've created Spain. And let's say I forgot that Spain is one of those PUs that get exploration ideas as first ID group. So I released Spain and it had exploration idea group. That means that it would explore and that means it would colonize. I don't think it's possible to prevent subjects from colonizing. And as you might understand, I had to revert to my earlier backup. Yeah, but generally, releasing Spain is a very good idea. Uh, well, first, because one more colonizer, obviously. And second, because it integrates all your vessels instantly. That was my plan. It would integrate all of my vessels and I would not worry about annexations. But we have what we have. Okay, let's be South Milan. Maybe you can visualize it. Actually, yes, you can, but... Not great idea, not good. Uh, let's just take some money and uh, finish this war. Okay. By the way, I can peacefully vassalize Granta. Let's try, I need to try. Would be epic if I can. Also, yes, I could conquer uh, North Italy, could conquer Milan, could conquer Savoy, Venice. But right now my goal is to stop colonization. That's my goal. So right now only Norway, Livonia, Aragon and these small nations can ethereal colonize. Okay, Norway can't, it's PU, it won't. Uh, Livonia must form Kurland, which, let's be honest, is quite... Small chance. And that leaves only Aragon and only this nation, but only if they conquer each other. If they all have like two ports, then obviously they won't choose exploration. Not right now at least. And yes, by the way, it's already 1507 and no colonialism. Okay, let's transfer trade power from Granada. It will improve relations a little bit. And uh, let's influence, send gift. And yes, here we go, we can slice. For free, free vessel. Okay, let's start annexing some of them. Yeah, if I could release Spain, it would be already instantly annexed without my intervention, but we have what we have. Also, I think uh, let's grant one more privilege, nobility integration policy, so I can integrate vessels without penalties. The truth has ended with both Aragon and Castile, so first what I'll do is I will declare uh, on Castile, let's see where is their gold mine, La Manche, correct, take La Manche, 
Cooling Austria, very important. Now I will declare an Ergon. Austria won't support it. Let's take Rosello. Now I will just need to prepare for collisions and everything else should be fine. So from Ergon I'll take Bruins here, Bruins here, Majorcom. Okay, I think even no need to return course. And maybe not Bruins here, but instead, yes, like this. So in the next war I'll just reconquer uh, Bruins from my new vessels. No collision, short truce, just what I need. And let's piece out Castile, I think. Once again, no collision, relatively. Yeah, it should be fine. Now we can force... Oh my god, touch your vault, I forgot. Yeah, not good. Uh, well, anyway, let's release some vessels. Valencia, Polonia. Maybe I'll give one point uh, to Leon, I think. And one to Asturias, and it will be less than 100. Yeah, good enough. Okay, now I will deal with touch your vault. Once again, I missed the information teams. It happened quite quick. So, to prevent touch your vault, ideally you should just move your capital to low countries, but you need to deal with it quickly. Maybe what I'll do is I will... Culture convert touch provinces here. Let's convert to English. English. Cheapest provinces. Okay, I need more mana. Either that or I need to wait for 20 years. I'm sure what's worse. And yes, I forgot about Act of Spanish Crown. Let's enact it. Bribe a little. And usually I would release Spain, but in this case I will rule directly. Because I don't want any colonizers. Rebels are spawning and spawning, but not even usually, but almost always I just move my capital to touch lands. And it's kinda an exploit. Here at least it's some kind of challenge. Let's even start going to Aram, why not? It seems I can finish the Anchovian culture, let's do it. And I'm trying to get elected, but it's not. England in the age of formation, all cool. We somehow discovered Americas, I don't know how. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, no Europeans. None at all, only natives. Yeah, Africans are busy with Africans. Americas are just chilling. By the way, maybe I would be able to break Austrian allies with Aragon. Let's try. Yes, okay. As next city group, I think I will take. Well, to be honest, it doesn't matter. Let's take humanist. Okay, let's declare on Aragon. Take core persona. Here it is. Should be easy. Maybe even too easy. Uh, let's try to find good general. Oh, to siege, by the way. In bad. Would be worse. Okay, that was fast. I will try to stack wipe Aragon. I think it will be possible. Yes, stack wiped. Well, then the war is won. And let's piece out Aragon, return some cores, and that will basically guarantee that Aragon won't colonize. Now let's declare on Castile quickly. Portugal completed. I'll conquer Portugal. And let's see our extension. Castile should be fine. No, it shouldn't. No, it's not fine. Okay, I'll feed some provinces to my vessels. And now it should be fine. So I think I think well first let's finish the mission on Jivin Iberia. There's two infantry, but cool. Anyway, I think my goal here is done. I will check if it's possible to see AI weights for ideas. But generally, I've eradicated all possible colonizers. Iberian colonizers, French colonizers, Dutch colonizers, and British colonizers. Yes, by the way, that's why Scotland and Brittany often go colonial. It's because they're in Western Europe. So, once again, Courland might colonize. I think it's like 0.2 weight. These nations can colonize in theory if they conquer each other. Right now the chance is extremely low, but in theory it's possible. Uh, Sweden won't colonize. Oh, the only colonizers left are basically Ottomans. Yes, of course, Ottomans. And, well, Moscow is not really a colonizer, but uh, we might count them as one. But Ottomans won't colonize Americas, they shouldn't at least. They most likely will colonize Indonesia, just like in real life. So anyway, European colonizers are stopped. Colonialism won't spawn for quite a long time, if it will at all. Anyway, let's click Force Acts of Union Debate, bribe our one. And now we are Anjouin Empire. Yep, Anjouin is totally not OP, totally. 